massive honor to be here. Like, wow, I'm standing here in front of him, sitting beside him, and each and each moment he's been training me about each product, about sanitary wear, electric, hardware, purifier, and standing here in front of you all, it's a beautiful one. So thank you, Dad. I really love you for what you've done for me. Thank you. And secondly, thank you, Bari Bapa, for coming to support me. It's a big moment that you came. I know you're a busy guy. Thank you. But you everybody knows him as the one percent guy now for Danny Properties and hundred percent, of course, <laughs> absolutely. So, Bari Bapa, thank you for being a really and Adil Bhai, of course, since you've also joined Danny Properties, you've also been heavily busy with Danny Home, Danny Properties. So thank you, Anubhai, for being here. Really means a lot that you guys came to support me in my special day. So thank you. And to coming on to my my beautiful mom. Mom, thank you for raising me. First of all, it's a special special moment for me to be standing here in front of you. Really, it's special. Don't cry, don't cry. I'm standing here only in front of you because I'm standing here because of you. So you're my biggest inspiration. Please take care of her. And. Uh, uh, I just want to say thank you for always, you know, I keep saying this everywhere whenever I go on stage and I speak, my biggest inspiration is my elder brother, Adarbhai. Thank you so much because when I joined in the COVID era, it was not easy. I mean, let's be honest, I had it easy. I had a family business. It was passed on by my father. But the person, the person, thank you so much for supporting me. And yeah, I, I love you so much. Okay, okay, now for this... Uh, emotional stuff. I just saw my brother getting tears. I've never seen him cry exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of shocking for me. I, mean, I was just thinking like it's a big shoes to live up to. Granted, I've been given, it's been given to me. The brand is built. Now how to take it forward. It's, it's a, not the easiest thing, but it's a challenge which I have to take up. It's a beautiful thing to, for me because I'm standing here. So the challenge is obviously how to maintain the brand, the quality, the pricing, Milano is like how my uncle mentioned that he wants to take it across the world. When he mentioned this to me in 2022, I took it upon myself and discussed with my mentor, Mr. Shams, that I want to firstly target Africa. And I can gladly say we have many sh showrooms in Africa where a lot of people have taken us distribution. So, Bhai Papa, this one is for you. Obviously, in Asia, Sri Lanka, be it Nepal, where you opened a franchise, but there are other showrooms also in Nepal. So, I want to thank you for always pushing me to take it global. Obviously, now you said that Emirates, yeah? You said Emirates? Okay, we get there eventually, <laughs> one, step at one step at a time. But my first uh, aim is to take it to Africa, region. like how Adil Bajan also mentioned. It's been only 132 countries? 136. So don't worry, everything will be there, inshallah, step by step. Now, coming into the legacy. This is a legacy built by, wow, my uncle, my dad, my cousin, and also my elder brother, Adil Bajan. It's a legacy which has to be lived up to. Not an easy thing, but I have to fulfill it because it's for my family. I've been given this opportunity. I'm very lucky to be standing here in front of all of you guys. So it is going to be a massive challenge, but I've taken up, taken up on myself. The future vision, like I mentioned earlier, obviously to take it across the world and to make the brand aware everywhere. The awareness has to not, it should not stop the awareness. Mainly for me, what I've seen now is that how to take the marketing to another level. I want Milano's Instagram to be going higher. It has to be better with the social media posts because social media has taken over the world. Let's be honest. Since the COVID era, we've seen influencers taking over the world. And I want the social media of Milano to be everywhere. The brand has to be in everybody's head like, oh, this is Milano, right? So it is going to be a fantastic thing for me to take this innovation and I hope to carry it forward. And lastly, Thank you, Mr. Chitrangada, for being here today. It's a massive honor for me that you're associated with the brand Milano and the ad which you made, you look really beautiful. And today also you look really beautiful. So thank you so much for being here. And like my uncle said that one day that, you know, people when people say Milano, it be oh, not him or my Chitrangada. So thank you, Mr. Singh. There are obviously now we're going to talk about upcoming collaborations and initiatives. And we shall see that how in the future that we outline everything. It's not going to be one thing at a time. There's no rush included in Milano's thing because the brand is built and I have to maintain that quality of the brand, the pricing, and there will be much more initiatives. 
I would like to end this speech by saying thank you all, the media, for coming here. It's a beautiful moment that I'm standing here talking to you all. And inshallah, in the future, we'll be having many more meetings. Thank you so much.